Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a brand new item that literally just got dropped off in the mail from Amazon. This is the Habitat Defender Triceratops. So this one, uh, it's actually pretty huge. I want to say it's like the Mosasaur size um, box. And this one say make an impact. This one like the Ocean Defender Mosasaur we got the last couple of years also uses plastic from recycling. So this one went even deeper. This one is 60% recycling plastic. And here is the barcode if anyone needs it. Haven't spotted in retail yet. But this one is 60% um, plastic recycling. And then the packaging is also from S FSC certified recycling paperboard. Down to the printing ink uses uh, pure vegetable oil ink. That's pretty cool. I never even knew all that existed. And this one is in the desert biome. And this one explains some more of the packaging and the plastic. This one is pretty cool. This one is actually a pretty large Triceratops, as you can see. Um, we've been getting undersized Triceratops from the Royal War assortment since 2018. And we've been very vocal about wanting a bigger Triceratops. That is the range size of an actual triceratops so it's pretty cool that mattel found an opportunity and made a separate little assortment for this because this one's not really um connected with any of like roar vores danger packs and that so it's kind of like the mosasaur just a single um item from its own little assortment so that's pretty dope let's open it and check it out okay so him out of the box and then you get the tail you gotta plug it in there like the rest of the ones we have got. All right, here we go. So first impression out of the box, this thing is huge. And I mean huge. Um, It's pretty light though, actually. It's definitely hollow inside more than other dinosaurs. More than, um, I feel like, yeah, it's like a bigger version of the hammock collection. So to see how big it really is next to a human figure now, let me zoom in a bit for you guys. This is how big it is compared to the human. Crazy, right? Especially compared to the regular Triceratops we have gotten since 2018. Wow, let's take a look at it. Okay. So off the top, Let's look at the detail in the head. The head is ginormous. It has really nice detail. It really does look like an upscale version of the hammock collection, honestly. Except, guess what this one has? Added articulation in the beak. So you can actually open his mouth. Kind of hard, though. So it's not a closed mouth. And this is as close as you can get to closing the mouth. The horns beautifully painted this this is actually really beautifully painted um color wise really reminiscent of the hammock collection you've got nice cream color beak along with the horns and the frill and look at the detail in this face all the wrinkles the eyes is kind of like orange a nut color and a little pupil along with his nose. So it does have articulation going look, uh, looking up and down like all of our other Triceratops that we have gotten. And now let's take a look at his back. It has really nicely detailed deco painted on there versus the other um, Triceratops. I think we have the spots, but they were not painted. So this one is really nice. It's nicely painted. Um, it missed a few spots. Very Mattel. To skip the paint in the back of it. Towards the back end of the um, dinosaur. And this one, unlike the hammock collection, does not have added articulation on the tail. It's just the tail on the ball joint. But you can still do what you need, really, for this dinosaur. And the front of his feet, little toenails are all painted, which is great. All painted. And look, even right here has all these details. 
this is a really nice scope and oh this part is actually painted that's pretty nice um and the underbelly also painted nice brownish color really nice this one is huge um it however does not have the ball joint um hind legs and stuff like um a roar of war was so you can pose it differently but wow look at this one so we're going to compare this one to the hammer collection and also the original triceratops that we have from jurassic park okay are you guys ready for this so this is how big it is compared to the hammer collection triceratops again the uh hammer collection triceratops that we did get basically it's a roar of war size animal um it it looks beautiful to me. It's just, to me, it's always been undersized. And I hate the fact that it did not have an open mouth function that you can even, uh, articulation, you can open and close it. Um, but I really do enjoy this Triceratops. But look how tiny it is next to the brand new one we just got today. Crazy, right? Let's put a human figure there too, even. So the large one we got today, I feel like is more depiction of an actual size of a Triceratop versus the one we got in Hammock Collection. The uh, Hammock Collection is debatable. Um, someone said, even like forums and stuff said, maybe that is the size of the one in Jurassic Park. It doesn't necessarily mean it was full grown. It's like the Dilophosaurus is way smaller than the actual counterpart. So let's take a look at the difference together. Like I said, it really does look like they just upsized this particular hammock collection and made it into this one that we got. Scope-wise, it's the same beautifully. Um, I will say it just doesn't have all the attic articulation like the hammock collection have with all the extra uh, knee joint, um, like the tail articulation, the feet and everything. But it's amazing. Like, look at it. Next to a vehicle. Let's, let's compare it next to a vehicle. This is how big it is compared to a vehicle. Like, look how huge this thing is. Really amazing that we actually honestly got it. I'm so glad Mattel listened and gave us something that we really wanted and we really needed in our collection. Um, another big piece. So let's take a look at this in a comparison with the Jurassic Park Kenner Triceratops. Okay, so here it is next to the Kenner one. It's even bigger than the Kenner one. That's crazy. We had, Kenner actually made a really beautiful one actually. Look how much bigger he is. He is huge. This one was actually my first dinosaur that I got uh, from the Jurassic Park collection. Pretty cool, still holding up. Um, oh, one fun fact. When this one have real feel skin, this actually does not have real feel skin. Despite being um, like the Mosasaur uses recycling plastic, this one's more like colossal um, dinosaurs. Like very hollow, very light, very light. And just look at the this, uh, detail on this guy. It's very like chocolate covered strawberry almost the color really nice a lot of detail went on this thing you can see all the different detail on the scales little bumps on this body really nicely con uh, contrast though the color fades in pretty nicely um yeah so anyone who's on on the side of not sure if you need another Triceratops, being that we this is like probably the eighth or ninth Triceratops we've gotten, um, I totally will recommend this one. Um, again, like I said, if you enjoy the Hammer Collection one, you will love this one. This one's basically an upscale version, finally in scale with our dinosaur, our vehicles, our play sets, everything. And even with the Rex, actually, let's take a look at it with the Rex. Let's see. So this one is the Red Rex that we just got. Let's compare. So back 
<laughs> even earlier today, our only size Triceratops we got was this size. How small it is compared to a Rex. But now you can actually have a giant Triceratops epic battle. Well, actually, it's kind of ginormous. Maybe the Rex is too small. But yeah, look how big it is compared to a Rex that we just got this year. This is how big it is. It does look pretty nicely next to it, though. So I would definitely recommend this for anyone's collection. Even if you're just, you're so Triceratops out, just get this last one. This one is the one you want. This one is the one you've dreamed of. This one has the mouth articulation. Um, it doesn't have all the articulation on its knees and elbows and all that, but it has great details. It has great deco and it's very true to size. And here is the code. Damn, they just... Let me see. One second. This one is pretty stuck in the plastic. Here's the code for our French Triceratops. Um, you can actually add it to the app now because since they update it. But yeah, um, available now at Amazon. I will include a link on the bottom of my description. And voila. Thank you for watching, you guys. And I'll see you guys next time we only have a couple of things left though from this collection um there was a leak with all these new dinosaurs though but that's coming later this fall so we have memenji still we have a hammer collection brachiosaur and a few danger pack but i'm afraid after that that will be it so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time